I traveled to Accra. Oh, you came to Accra yeah. all by yourself? All by myself because the band came to perform in Second B. Okay. And the guitar player, you know, became my friend. Okay. So I told him that when I finish with my schooling, I'm going to, you come know, to come Accra. Yeah. <laughs> and he thought I was joking. I was, a, you know, a kid, you know, yeah. in, you know, in my school days. So um, when I finished school, bang, straight to Accra. Hey. And the band was staying at Kokomemle. The whole band was okay. at Kokomemle. So, you know, the name of the band was the Globe Masters Band. So okay. I got to circle and I asked the Kokomemle and Globe Masters. So they showed me. Mm. And lo and behold, I was able to uh, locate the band. Locate the place, yeah. And the guy was, man, he was shocked in seeing me, you know, because <laughs> he thought, uh, you know, second decade, you know, yeah. yeah. But he accepted me. Okay. And I accepted me. So I stayed with him for about a week. And all of a sudden, one morning when we got up, they said somebody was looking for me. And it was my mother. <laughs> I was shocked because my mother, you know, didn't have a proper schooling. Okay. You know? So I felt that like her alone coming from Sikhani to Accra. You know, Accra, you know, trying to find out where the band Bans and everything. Eh? I was shocked. <laughs> <laughs> but the, 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 the guitar player told me, hey man, if your mother is coming to take you back home, I cannot stop you. Yeah. You know, so I, I understood what he said and I agreed and uh, went back home with my mom. Wow. And that's going to be. And uh, um, from there, worked with my father a little bit. But my father understood me when okay. I told him that I want to, um, you know, play music professionally. Mm. You know, he looked at my face and he said, well, if you think that that's what you came to the world to do, yeah. you know, I, I give you my blessing. <laughs> you know. But was there any musical related person in your family? No, I'm the only one. So it means that they gave it all to, to me. You. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Though my father, you know, was in the military. Okay. You know, and uh, he came back, they went to Burma, as, you know, to go and fight. When they came back, he came back with a flute. Mm. So he sometimes, you know, plays the flute, and when he wasn't there, I pick up the flute and start playing hymns, you know, I buy yeah. with me, <laughs> da, 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 uh -huh. you know, I said, you know, and it, it, it started to open my ears, okay. you know, to, um, because you need to get the pitch right, mm. you know, if you don't have the right ears, you will sing flat, and when yeah. you sing flat, nobody will enjoy it, wow. you know, but in the course of all that, you know, there was a band in Second D called the Railway Band because okay. there was a um, Ghana Railways in okay. Second D and mm -hmm. they had a band. Oh, okay. Yeah, so I joined the band and mm. uh, I started. How did you join the band? You went to apply for it or um, you knew someone in there? Um, I went straight to the, the band leader. Oh, okay. You know, and told him that I want to uh, uh, join the band. Yeah. But did you know how to sing at the time? Yeah, I was singing because with the seamen, when they okay. come back, they were coming back with, uh, you know, Ray Charles, uh, yeah. Steve Wonder, you know, Michael okay. Jackson, all them kind of, so we're using that as a format of uh, ear training and all okay. that. Okay, okay. So when I told the band leader that um, I can sing, he said, okay, what can you sing? Hmm. And I told him I can sing what I say. Hey. You know, so they started, dun, 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 you know, mm -hmm. then I came and they did, hey, mama, why don't you treat me right? Can you come together all night long? <laughs> you know, hey. oh, they said, okay, man, go and come back tomorrow. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So that opened the door for me to be ah. able to be part of that band. Okay. You know? and how, how long were you with the band? I was with the band because um, uh, when I coming to Accra and coming back to the second day, uh, I joined the band in 1964. 64? I finished my elementary in 63. Wow. And uh, in 64, I joined the band. Wow. You know, and um, it's, a, it's also a walking distance. You yeah. know, you walk about 15, 20 minutes, you are the rehearsal. Okay. You know? But how was the band experience? I mean, looking at your age at yeah. that time, you joining the band. I was happy because most of the guys that I met in the band were grown-ups. Okay. You know, and the band was a big band whereby uh, saxophones, you know, trumpets, mm -hmm. Trumpet. you know, guitar, mm -hmm. keyboard, and everything was part of the band. So um, it opened my, my ears and I also started asking questions mm -hmm. 
because uh, music is a language. Yeah. So if you want to know, you have to know the language of music. Yeah. So I started learning the rudiments and all that. Okay. And it helped me a lot. So well, that's where you learned how to play instruments. That's where I learned how, because then that time, then I had learned how to play the guitar. Mm. You know, because the, an elderly guitar player, you know, taught me the four chords on the guitar. Okay. You talk about C, you know, D minor D. seven, F, okay. and the G seven. Mm. You know, so he taught me all that. And most of the highlights that you hear being yeah. played, you know, mm -hmm. it's all based on these chords. These chords, okay. You know, so he helped me, and um, I started listening to more music more because. Music. Um, there was a man living in our house. I didn't have a radio, but that man had a radio. Okay. But that man loved jazz music. Okay. So at any given time from 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. to 11, he put his radio, radio to the Voice of America. Okay. okay. And they would start to play Duke Ellington, mm -hmm. you know, Miles Davis, uh, Jimmy Smith, yeah. and all those. So it also you know, opened my ears and my mind to the music that was coming from the other side of the world. Oh. You know, so <laughs> I have gone in. So, you know, if you hear my music today and all that, it all came from okay. the beginnings and uh, how I learned those kind of mm. formats of music. So when you were part of the band, were you guys traveling outside of uh, Second D or it was just rehearsals you guys did? Uh, we, we did travel a little bit, but not mostly wasn't outside. Oh, okay. You know, in second day because of the funerals and uh, uh -huh. our doors and yeah, okay. so we were playing from the vicinities of second day. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes we go to Tap Friday to play, sometimes okay. play the Encicado, sometimes, uh, <laughs> you know, so... But what, what were you doing in the band? Were you a singer? Or I was a singer at that time. Wow, were you the lead singer or you were just a back? I was the lead singer. Wow, at that time? Oh yeah, I was the lead singer of the band. But the band leader left. Okay. Uh, there was a new band that was formed at the Ghana Broadcasting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so uh, the band leader was uh, engaged to come and uh, lead the band here. Okay, here in so when he left, a boat tailor, uh -huh. a boat tailor came tailor, in. Yeah. And okay. with a boat tailor, to you know, a boat tailor liked me, I liked him because I, knew, I used to hear his music, you know, when okay. he was with a band in Kumasi called the Stargazers Band. Okay. You know, so a boat tailor, I've been following him uh, before meeting him. Mm. So when I met him, because um, I knew how to play guitar a little bit, when the bass player of the band left, okay. I was told to pick up the bass. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, so the guitar, the guitar is six strings, bass is four strings. You know, so when you shift, it's not a matter it's of difficult, uh, yeah, difficulty. So you just played it? Yes. I and you were singing at the same time? Yes, I was doing both at the same mm -hmm. time, but there was another singer. Okay. So when I moved to the bass, the okay. singer started doing more than, okay. yeah. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it, was, it was good. Because the How long were you with the band? How long did you stay with um, the band? Uh, till to, to, uh, 88. Wow. You know, um, not 88, excuse me, to 68. Okay, 68. Yeah, because okay. I finished school in 64, Four. I joined the band. Mm -hmm. I, I finished school in 63, 68. I joined the band in 64. Four. And 68, the band that I told you about came mm -hmm. to pick me up to go and play professionally with them. Okay. Well, so that you guys came to Accra. Yeah. You left the other band and then you Yes, we left the band. When, when we left the band was uh, formed, uh, we went to Cape Coast. Okay. Because Another it was, group in Cape Coast. No, no, it was the same, same band. Same band, okay. Yeah, but we went to rehearse in Cape Coast because oh, okay. uh, we went and spent about three three months in Cape Coast rehearsing and all oh. that. And when we finished rehearsing, it was getting close to uh, December, Christmas. Okay. So they had taken uh, engagements, gigs. Gig. So yeah. from there, <laughs> straight to Kumasi. Uh huh. You know, and that was my first time going to Kumasi. Kumasi. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And I went to Kumasi. There was a club called the Americana mm -hmm. in Kumasi, and that's where I went to. And we stayed in Kumasi for almost about almost about two months. Oh, playing in Kumasi. Yeah, playing in Kumasi, and from there, then we came straight to Accra. What was the name of the band again? 
Uh, who gas? Who gas? Who gas? Extraordinaire. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was Whoa. my first professional band. Professional band. Yeah. Did you guys come out with any albums, yeah. songs? Yeah, we came out with two uh, two songs because that time they do um, uh, 45. Okay. You know, we used to have uh, that vinyl. Okay, yeah, the, the vinyl. Yeah, the yes. long play. Yeah, yeah, the yes. long play has uh, three songs in front, three mm -hmm. songs at the back. But 45 has only one song in front and one song at the back. Wow. So we made uh, two songs, two songs, and they became also popular. Oh yeah, in Ghana yeah, at that yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. you guys were making money. Oh yeah, because uh, I can't say that we're making that money, but you know we kept traveling. Mm -hmm. You know, from town to town. Okay. And you know, all that, and uh, we were on salary anyway. Oh, salary. So yeah. there was a band owner. Yeah, there was a band owner who brought the instruments and everything. They also formed. Um, uh, got a house for the band. Okay, and all so you that. guys were come to the... Yeah, at, uh, at Latabia Koshi. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> so we were in there and we were performing. Yeah, yeah, and the band became popular because of the uh, uh, the recordings that we did. Mm. Things like that. So, so can you remember any of the songs at that time? Yeah, um, there was a song. Pam, pam, dan, 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 dan. Mm -hmm. Okay. I was a bass player playing that. Okay. Yeah. And there was the lead singer, Ewujamu. He was the one who sang on that record. And it was wonderful. It was good. Yeah. Wow. You know, 68, 69 then. Wow. So, you, you, you with the band, how long did you stay with the other band? Too? I stayed um, with the Hugas, we stayed together. I stayed together with them for about uh, three years. Three years. Yeah, and uh, we traveled to Ivory Coast. Did you before. guys shoot any videos? Did you guys um, any? No, because during that time there weren't videos. Huh? You know, <laughs> but there were, you know, cinema. Okay, uh, what yeah, we call the yeah. cameras for. Was it expensive at the time? Um, it wasn't, but you know, you can't even do it by yourself. Okay. Unless when you go and uh, like a place like the. But Ghana. you guys were watching. Uh, what's the name? Uh, uh, Jimmy Cliff and Jimmy, all. Those. Yeah, you know, they, they were all there, but to see yourself on the screen. It was difficult. Unless you go to maybe Ghana Broadcasting, because there they used to okay. do, uh, you know, the shoot videos, uh, and, videos all and all that kind of things. And they show it on, on weekends. Oh, on weekends. Yeah. So <laughs> that was when I saw myself first. Mm. You know, at at that screen. time, who were some of the musicians that were very popular? Um, the then that time, Ananam Pedu was there. Okay. I uh, talk about because Nanam Pedu was, you know, around uh, 64, 3, yeah, mm -hmm. and all that. So Nanam Pedu was there later on. Uh, senior the Don Call, okay. uh, J. Adolfo, mm. you know, Okuku Seku, you know, Broadway <laughs> band, Uhuru Dance Band, mm -hmm. you know, because then at that time, the only thing that was good was it was around Kwame Nkrumah's time. Yeah. So we had something that we call work and happiness. Work and happiness. Yes. Mm -hmm. Work and happiness. Bands, we used to play afternoon jumps. Okay. You know, and workers, when they close from 12 in the afternoon, they come to jam with the, with the bands. Mm. And uh, around 1.30, they leave back to uh, offices. Wow. So they were afternoon jams, so that was what we call the work and happiness. Work and happiness, okay. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and the government had bands. Mm -hmm. The government itself had bands. Private people had bands. Mm. Okay. You know, government had clubs because there were state hotels. Mm. There were uh, catering rest houses. You know, the locals, you know, have uh, tiptoe when it comes to Accra, yeah, they have tiptoe. Tip yeah. um, they have uh, uh, But was there only uh, uh, a band or there were other musicians who were going to studios to record or it was only bands? Oh, uh, there were only bands, but uh, there was a recording uh, company called Decca, Decca Records. Okay. And Philips Records. Okay. They were the ones that were recording the Uhuru band, the Broadway okay, band, okay. the Stargazers band, mm. all that. And they were using only two microphones to record. Okay. You know, today when you go to the studio, there wow. were <laughs> lots and lots of them. Tracks, 
Yeah. Yeah, it was only two tracks. So when you hear music come from the Nampedu mm -hmm. and all that, you see that two microphones, one for the singer okay. and the chorus, and one for the whole band. Oh, okay. <laughs> but those people were technically good that after recordings and everything, you, you can hear everything. Hear everything. Mm, so they had a studio in Accra? They had a studio in Accra, yeah. Phillips, Phillips had a studio, Decker had a studio, okay. and later on, AC Bones. Okay. AC Bones also came and uh, I uh, had a studio at the uh, uh, in Accra here, mm. and uh, AC Bones was recording CK Man, okay. uh, me, you know, okay. uh, Bebo Taylor, and uh, you know, so AC Bones was uh, doing good because Decca had to leave at some point in time, mm. you know, and AC Bones then they took, took over. Took over. And okay. It was wonderful. Wow. So, when you were with the band. Did you have any plans that you wanted to leave and start a solo career? No. Um, after I left the, um, uh, Who Got Extraordinary, mm -hmm. the next band that we formed was called um, uh, Gay Lots. Oh, Gay Lots. Yeah, Gay Lots. Okay. Because uh, on, um, after Tipto, you know, on the Ring Road, uh -huh. we have a place called uh, Apollo Theater. Yeah, Apollo Theater. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. where the band was. Okay. You know, the gay lords was, we were only four, and me on bass, and as Honey, the late and as Honey on the uh, uh, keyboard. Keyboard, mm. And uh, there was uh, a white guy, not a uh, half cast guy. Okay. I forgot his name, but he was the one playing the guitar. Mm. And Amuma with the drummer. You know, so mm. it was there that we were, and uh, we, uh, we played together for almost about uh, one year. Then, a band was formed at Meridian Hotel okay. in in, uh, in Tema. Okay. And they came to call me. And the reason why I left that band and went to Meridian Hotel was the ones that I was going to perform, they were older musicians. Okay. So I told myself that I can learn from them. From yes. Mm. You know, because uh, you know they play standard music, they play music all the way. So I joined them. Uh, Realist, the late Realist keyboard, the late Bebop Agri on guitar, um, uh, uh, Ray Allen on saxophone, uh, mm -hmm. the late, uh, what we call it, uh, Border Rage on drums. These are all the musicians that I knew when I was mm -hmm. growing up. Wow. So, in having a chance to, to play, play with them, them, I said, ah, boom. It was an honor. <laughs> yeah. And I learned a lot from them. Yeah. I learned a lot from them. Then, um, after I think about one year and a half, the band also got broken. Mm -hmm. Then I came to Accra. That was when I had a chance to join the Uhuru band. Oh, okay. You know, at I sell them down. I sell them down, yeah. And that was when I also had a chance to do my first recording. For yeah. the world to know that there's somebody with the name Jenny Blaine Ambuli, because <laughs> that was when my first rap music okay. came out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man. And it was it was it was a hit. Wow. Because the style that I came out, nobody has heard that style yeah. before. But how did you get the mindset to create that style? No, those kind of things that we were doing back in second D. Okay. You know when I go with my quick your, but your groups. Yes. But there was a madman in uh Takradi called uh, Arakanya. Okay. You know, he's from Liberia. Mm. And anytime you see him walking, he'll be murmuring to himself. Uh -huh. You know, <laughs> Anna Kanye, Anna Kanye, Anna Kanye, Tamana Khan and with school children following him. Okay. You know. <laughs> and when we leave and come back home, mm -hmm. then we too, because we didn't have money, you know, to buy congas and everything, yeah, yeah. then we started creating with our mouth. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, started adding words and things like that. Woo! <laughs> and at any time that we do it, we we'll form a circle. Okay. You know, and we had a dance to it. That one of the guys would jump into the circle and started doing his own dance. And the dance was a creative dance in a way that the next person that had to go in there mm -hmm. has to do a different a form different of a form. Uh -huh. So it means that everybody was creating okay. in that time. And I saw that any time that we're doing that, the passerbys, when they were passing, when they get there, they stop. 
-hmm. And they look and they will start to laugh because uh -huh. the way I think. <laughs> so when I got involved into music properly, I said, no, I need to bring this that back. Yeah. Because this thing that we're doing, because, you know, it was creating happiness, mm. you know, for people and things like that. So, and lo and behold, man, when I brought it into my music, Something else. <laughs> the words, nobody had the, heard the words before about the Nusha, Nusha, about the Nusu. <laughs> you know, I said, what's that? What are you saying? You know, but they couldn't get enough of it. Uh, the dance. Uh -huh. oh, oh, you had a dance with oh, it? Oh, twist, man. <laughs> and I remember the other time, uh, was it about two years ago? Mm hmm. I met um, a man at uh, plus, plus two, three, three. Okay. And he was saying, when he saw that my, I, I am humbling, mm -hmm. he called me and said, you, you don't know what you've done to me. I said, what have I done to you? <laughs> he said, Mr. Ambulin, when I was at school, they called me Ambulin. Uh? Because your dance yeah. and everything. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So when you were doing it, everybody called me Ambulin. Yeah. You know? So when you saw me, you was, you know, here, you know, uh, yeah. remember, you know, what took place at school. Wow. And things like that. So wow. that was when I created my first ever recorded with the rap music with the Hulu band. Wow. You know, a friend had to, because a Hulu band to a Botella was my leader at that time. Mm -hmm. You know, after a railway band, a Botella okay. was also employed at the Hulu band. Oh, okay. So he became my leader. Mm -hmm. And a friend, the late uh, Bensi Angel, he came to record a Botella because they were co equals. Oh, okay. You know, like that. And when I saw that, then I told him, oh, I also got some songs to uh, record. Yeah. Then he said, okay, yeah, you have it? Okay, okay, let me hear what you have. Mm -hmm. So I pick up the guitar, you know, and, and start to play it. And I mm -hmm. said, okay, we we'll add it to the recording. Mm. And lo and behold, ah, ah. <laughs> that was what made Ghanaians to know that there's somebody with the name J.W. Mm -hmm. Ambele. Whoa. And that name got stuck, you know, because you know, I'm very happy, you know, with the gift that the Almighty gave me. Yeah. Because even today, mm -hmm. driving around town, sometimes I, you know, at traffic lights and things yeah. like that, school children, when they see me, they will pointing fingers at me. Huh? You know, say, hey, Kwame, Kwame. Kwame. <laughs> hey, I bought a book. And I used to, you know, get shocked myself because I said, but when I made that music, you weren't born. Yeah. How come you've been able to be Music born and still, so, yeah. yeah? I said, oh, thank you, Moshe, thank you, yeah. Moshe, yeah, <laughs> you know. So, you know, it's a gift, mm. you know, and um, that's one good thing about God. Yeah. He gives everybody a talent. Mm. Everybody has a talent. Wow. The madman that was in, mm. I know, dumb, dumb, and dumb. That, mm. he didn't know what he was exactly. doing. Exactly. Uh, the impact that he was impacting on us. Yes. You know, so, um, when that gift is given to you, uh, you have to make sure that you, you listen to yourself. That's true. You know, and learn from uh, the elders who are on the same vein. Yeah. You know. And that has helped me because my travels, my anywhere that I've been musically mm -hmm. and yeah. everything, what I have and everything, it's all given to me by music.